Lehigh now is a completely different place. Um, Lehigh now they have like Porsche dealerships and it's like it's very really growing immensely. Big but tech community. Yeah, too. big yeah. big tech with I am Flash and everything out there and even like you got NS or the NSA or whatever building out there now and uh, but when I was growing up I mean, I remember going down to all these farms that would have, you know, buffalo farms, huge herds of buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Every year we had the roundup days where you just have these, like, crazy... So I know. grew up kind of more in a cowboy area and everything like that. Um, I wanted to do that. I mean, as a little kid, you always, like, love being a cowboy and stuff like that, but I never envisioned myself wanting to, like, own, like, a ranch and everything. 2001 I'm eight years old and my brother was serving his LDS mission in Spain and he finished and so we were going there to visit him and ceremonies afterwards and like you know seeing Lance there Lance because after seeing him there that is what inspired me and my family to get on the bike how so when you say I know how sort it is what do you refer to I mean, I feel like, so I also kind of feel like I have this hippie side to me, this very like loving and like at peace guy. Yeah, I you're do, always smiling. Too. I do a lot yeah, of yoga. Okay. I do like, you know, I was born, you know, I'm Mormon, so I grew up in a religious family. And so I'm not afraid to talk about it with anyone. Everyone is always a little bit hesitant to ask at first, yeah. or they're afraid of offending me. Sure. But my whole thing is you, can, you can't be, it's impossible to be offended because if you truly believe in something and you truly know, know that like in your soul that it's true, then no matter what someone says, it's not gonna offend you. So I'm always open for people asking me questions about my faith and religion. Doesn't mean I know the answers yeah. because that's just arrogance and ego. If we say we know all the answers yeah. and say like, you know, if someone asks me a question and I don't know, I'm gonna tell you, no, I don't know. But the good thing, All right, so, uh, so yeah. you got the call from BMC, you're training, climbing well. Yeah, everything, you know, weight, climbing, everything's just, you know, and I'm having fun. So everything's going together and, you know, I'm out there training with the team before the race and, you know, on these climbs, it's ended up being just me and Darwin. And I'm like, wow, I'm climbing really well, you know, like, we're, like, I'm doing really well here, yeah. so. You know, when it comes to the first stage, Jackson Jackson Stewart asks, all right, what is everyone's ex expectations for the race? What do they want to do? And, you know, I tell the guys, like, you know, I'm here. I'm a domestic. I'm a stagiaire. I'm here to do my job and work for you guys no matter what. And I just kept saying to myself, this is it. This is my opportunity. This is my home yeah. race. My family is watching the race right now. They're yeah. down at the finish yeah. line because it finishes near, that stage finished near my sister's house. Okay. And so, again, it was just like, you know, there's certain times in our life where we have to grab opportunities or else it goes by and we're never going to get it again. And it ended up, you know, you're finished seventh overall yeah, at yeah. Tour of Utah huge. while still working the whole yeah. race. You know, I still was committed to Darwin the whole time yeah. and, you know, still able to kind of pull off seventh. So I was pretty, I was pretty stoked just because yeah, yeah. it is at the home and, you know, made everyone kind of happy and it's just a good time. Good and way so to so that. given that experience and you're, you're riding for one of the top 10 climbers, I would say, in on a bike yeah. in the world right now with Darwin. And he had a pretty good season. Yeah, it's about And time. then he's not with BMC anymore. Yeah. Like, does that speak to you in any sort of way? Like, um, does it have you think about your cycling career? Does it have you thinking about going back to school or like, you know, you're giving it everything you have, but then yeah. you see on one hand, you know, like, um, someone like uh what's the guy from katusha who didn't find a ride um, oh man so many There's right so many you guys. think all these good athletes you're like all these oh, good domestiques that... like even the american guy uh two-time national champ Boucher, uh, yeah, you know yeah. like he couldn't find a ride like does it ever does that play tricks on your mind at all man uh so again it kind of sends back to my religion and it's like god has that plan for you and if you're working hard things will work out sure. in a certain way and you know I when I was told that I wasn't gonna be going to BMC you know it kind of it hits you hard yeah. 
yeah. and George, you know, he's always been such a great mentor to me. I mean, I've known him since I was 17, mm -hmm. and he's wanted me to come to his team, and, you know, it just, it was basically the perfect scenario, yeah. but yet, sometimes in our mind, we're only seeing that, like, we don't see the whole picture, yeah, yeah. we just see that, like, oh, it's a smaller team. Sure. And that lasted maybe like a few days where I'm just like, oh, it's a smaller team. And then after that, it's like, wait, whoa, I'll be the full GC leader for this race, you know. And they're just, it's been an absolutely incredible experience right. where I need the team is, you know, getting it to me. Yeah. You know, Thomas Craven is one of the greatest guys I've worked with and I've barely, have, I mean, I've just barely started working with him. Yeah. You know, your perception, has it changed since, you know, I know Utah was just, yeah. it was less than 10 months ago. Yeah. Um, well, well I don't, less than six months ago. Yeah. Um, but like seeing some of the scandals, you know, and seeing like sponsors are pulling out yeah. and contracts are not being fulfilled, it kind of goes back to my, my original question, which you answered about your faith. Yeah. Um, I think that's very important. But like, I, I guess you're in a good spot mentally because yeah. it's not it's not um, it's not rattling your your cage at all, and I think that's that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, you'll go far off of that faith and that belief and that you know courage. I mean it does I mean I'm not I'm not gonna say it doesn't rattle your cage because that's again that's like saying you're you know everything and you're basically ahead of everyone yeah. because when I was getting all these rejection calls you know I was I remember I was I was so I was in Belgium in Isaham at this you know at the at the house yeah. I just remember my agents calling me up and just it was just rejection. I literally I remember I broke down to my agents, I call my dad, I call my brother, and I'm, I'm like, what have I done? Like I've, I've sacrificed all this. I've sure. sacrificed, you know, school. I've sacrificed family, family, yeah, friends, yeah, dating life. girls, yeah, yeah. like all that life. Because from a young age, you just you put everything into it, and you think it's all gonna work out if you work hard. But it's like you said, you know, it doesn't you know this sport is so uh, it could be so cruel and. So I did, like, there was a, I did break down for like a day where it was just like. Um, so for 2017 is fast approaching. We're only yeah. uh, about 10 days away from a new year. What are your goals for, for the next year? Like, where do, you, where do yeah. you see yourself? If we were to sit down this time next year, you know, it'll be December of 2017. Yeah, let's do it, man. Uh, let's do it. I'll be here. <laughs> what would I be saying you know congrats on all these GC wins I'm For, sure yeah man. you want that yeah. but like we're just real quick uh, where do you see yourself next next year I mean obviously I'm going to the team as G, the GC guy oh, good. and so you know Tora Pila that's yeah. kind of the first big objective okay I, I don't see why I can't win that you know and then going to California I think a top 10 at California is crucial yeah and then, uh, yeah, Utah. I'm going there to win, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going there to win. I nice. topped 10 last year. And to me, there's no point in saying, oh, I want a podium or I want a top five. Sure. Snapchat or Instagram? Instagram. Fish or bison? Uh, bison. <laughs> Mac or PC? Uh, Mac. SUV or a pickup? Oh, SUV. BMW or Mercedes? Oh, Mercedes. NorCal or, so or SoCal? Oh, SoCal, for <laughs> sure, man. For sure. Um, yeah. uh, just grateful for you, man, to be able to have this opportunity yeah, cool. to kind of Thanks share my story and, yeah, yeah, you know, sure. be able to have this time out here. It's been a, it's been a blast. It was, you know, I remember, I was telling Mark, I was stoked that I got to meet you the other day because I remember the first time I saw you racing, you were on rock racing, we are at yeah. Valley of the Sun, and I was like 13 or 14, and you were crit state uh, national champion. Yeah. And it was in this, like, we like suburban crit course and yeah, I just yeah. remember you like seeing you attack and I'm just like <laughs> the kit was so stylish yeah, yeah. Look at yeah I don't think you'll have a problem with staying humble I, I like your energy uh, you know, of course you're a good bike racer and uh, it'll be nice to, to, to follow your progression and yeah, see, you, see where you go if you go far or not on the bike I yeah. think you have a good head on your shoulders to be so young and you know, like my mom liked to say, the skies are not the limits. You can go oh, anywhere. Man, exactly. You know, you can go anywhere you want to go. So, yeah. Uh, oh, best it's of a luck. Pleasure. It's a pleasure, my man. Thank, it's a thanks pleasure. for your time. Oh, and I know you. you're getting back to Utah pretty soon, but you're yeah. always welcome here. I'm sure you got oh, a, you got man. a good house will, at Mark. So I will be back <laughs> for sure. Oh, so yeah. bad.